Hey everyone, it's Arez. Uh, that's it. It's done. I'm at home now for uh, just over a week. Uh, surgery was uh, very successful. The surgeon managed to do everything he wanted to do. I was also in a very unique, fortunate situation where my prosthesis, Scott, was actually present uh, during the operation and both him and the surgeon consulted on different things on you know how to finish up things and all the rest of it which was a very very um, unique situation both of them were really uh, enthusiastic about working together and doing it and it was wonderful I think anyways I'm at home now I just want to show you my new new me just a body but here so I'll go a bit over here I hope you see it but, well, this is my new leg. So, I'm going to jump back. Just a sec. I'm not editing these uh, videos, just because I don't really know how to do it yet. Maybe I'll do it later. But anyways, uh, at home now, and overall feeling pretty good. Ups and downs, some days are better, some days are worse. At the hospital it was great. Uh, I have to admit that I experienced the lowest pain levels ever since my accident two and a half years ago. Now this is a huge statement, but it is so true. Uh, just a huge relief. I think that when I had my foot, pain levels were so high all the time that I just thought they were normal or got used to them to some degree. And now, even with the pain that I have, which is under control, not all the time, most of the time, still doesn't, uh, doesn't compare to it. But I made a mistake a few days ago. I tried to reduce my intake of uh, my pain medication, and I didn't take anything for the nerve pains. And that was a mistake, because uh, within two days, my pain levels just skyrocketed off the uh, charts, really, really painful, especially nerve pains, shooting pains, burning pain, phantom pains, I think the whole package. So, got kick on the head, adjusted, and now I am on protocol, taking my hydromorphine and Lyrica and all the rest of the stuff that I'm supposed to take. Makes a huge difference. I also had um, spent a lot of time meditating about my new residual limb, whatever they call it now, stump limb. So um, just uh, connecting with it on a level of um, here we are. That's, this is the new reality. That was interesting, intriguing, and helpful. I'll write on that a little bit more on my uh, blog. Um, had a chance, of course, to come home, beautiful, um, at the hospital I was taken care of in a magnificent way. The staff is extremely professional. My parents and my beloved Sonia came every day with home-cooked food, fresh vegetable and um, fruit juices, uh, protein shakes, extremely, extremely nutritious, uh, coconut water for hydration. So I didn't touch any of the hospital food, which, as you know, uh, if you eat it too much, uh, it doesn't necessarily expedite your healing, on the contrary. Uh, but that's another subject. So I had this option to really recover well, pain was always managed well. After five days, I was disconnected from all the uh, nerve block uh, catheter and all the rest of it. Everything was under control, passed my... Uh, tests and evaluations so I can go home and came home had a huge hug loving hug with my kids which was beautiful because we didn't bring them to the hospital throughout these five days just because we thought the environment is not uh, not the right place for them to be so we chatted over the phone all the time but that's about it and uh, what happened next was interesting because um, everything seemed to be okay and so nice, but this is not the reality. Every day is different. Uh, the nerve pain, of course, was uh, very difficult to deal with. 
And then uh, just yesterday we found out that the um, near the scar of um, in the area of the stump, there seemed to be some sort of a uh, infection going on or some sort of um, blood clot or just no blood supply to this area. It just got black and pretty ugly and, and very uh, alarming. Uh, so I went to see my doctor yesterday, uh, but the first reaction to it was quite hard because you see it and you say, oh my God, now there's going to maybe complications, what do I do? And I just made a conscious choice at that time to just stay in my positive place and say that, yes, there will be bumps along the road all the time. Hopefully this one is not too bad. It is a medical condition. We have to deal with it as soon as possible. But I didn't allow it to overtake me and, uh, you know, kind of elevate anxiety and fear and all the rest of it. Um, I slept well that night and the day after went to see the doctor. Fortunately, he said he saw cases like this. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. It's not something that he was extremely concerned about, which I was relieved. All of us were extremely relieved because um, it seemed to be just looked like something bad is going on there. So with the medication, everything should be okay. In a week, he will remove the sutures and it should be all right. So I'll write more text-wise on the, on the blog. Uh, that gives me a chance to kind of share links and, and write in depth, but I know these can be very long. So I hope this video was helpful. And I'll upload another one, hopefully tomorrow. It's good to have you with me today. All your support throughout was just beautiful. Thank you all very, very much. This has been a tremendous part of this positive healing and allows me to really keep this positive space. And uh, I wish you all well, and we'll see you very soon. Thanks a lot.